do you know about Sable International? Let's see. They're an international security firm, usually hired by governments to end revolutions. Or start them. The last thing we need is a city full of trigger-happy mercenaries. Whoa, social media is blowing up. They're setting up checkpoints around the city, doing random stop and frisks. This is crazy. No, this is Norman Osborne feeling threatened. Pigeon target acquired. Oh, come back, little birdie! Spider-Man. Loft's filling up. Rosa just flew home to join her brothers and sisters. Happy to help. You know these little guys pretty well, huh? Getting there. Sandra always knew him best, of course. Sandra? Oh, uh, my... my wife. Well, tell Sandra she's got some fine birds. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, sure we are, Spider-Man. Thanks again. And please, keep an eye out. There must be more clues in Lee's office at Feast. Missed another call from Doc. Peter, I wanted to make sure you're still available. I can't pay you yet, but I've pulled enough strings to keep the wolves from the door a bit longer. If we can get up and running, I know this new version of the project will attract investment. Massive investment. Stay ready. Fingers triple crossed, Doc. Peter. So if you're running this place while Mr. Lee's out of town, who's doing your old job? Uh, me. But I could always use more help. You know anyone? Actually, I do. His name is Miles Morales. Why does that sound familiar? His father was being honored at City Hall. Oh. I talked to him at the funeral. He's a smart kid. He's just having a tough time. I knew a boy like that once. I remember it helped to, uh, stay busy. It might help him, too. Here's his mom's number. Thanks. I'll give her a call. Hey, you haven't heard from Mr. Lee, have you? No, why? I'm just curious. I've got a few minutes before work. I'm gonna look around, see if there's anything else I can do to help you out. Oh, you, you don't have to. I know. I want to. I should check out Lee's office. Need help with those veggies? I learned a long time ago, you're more help staying out of the kitchen than in it. Pete, glad to see you're okay. Hanging in there. May said you were at the bombing. I was praying for you. Thanks, I appreciate it. Hmm, this office is locked. How do I get in there? Quietly. I don't feel safe anymore. Maybe there's a vent somewhere. Huh. Never seen that room before. Whoa, what the... High voltage lines. What needs this much power? There. I understand, but the account number is in Mr. Lee's office, which is inaccessible. I will call you back as soon as I can get that information. No, I don't know when that will be. Lee's office is the other way. That room I saw from the crawl space. 
It should be right on the other side of the shrine. Lee really did care about May. Hope this means she's out of danger. journal a key wonder where the lock is Lee sounds conflicted almost like he didn't want to head down this path This is the ghost story Lee's father read to him. About a demon that could only be mastered through balance. Lee did so much for New York. I can't believe he was hiding such darkness inside him. Puzzle lock. Yes. Whoa. What are you hiding, Lee? He sure is obsessed with masks. Is it a Jungian thing? Like, he needed to pretend to be someone else to let his darkest feelings out? Pretended to be a demon, until he became one. Lee's giving his powers to the others. How does Lee imbue these with his power? Bioelectric induction? Compressed phase shift? This is all about Norman Osborne. His whole career. Lee must have been obsessed with him. Oscorp lost a lawsuit about improper clinical trials years ago. Did they cover this up? I've never heard of it. This article is decades old. It must be back when Oscorp was first founded. This is the folder MJ found at the auction house. This might help us figure out what Lee's planning next. Phew. It's a burn room, wired to destroy evidence. Think of what could have happened. Yeah. 
Now, how do I get out of here? Hello, Peter. Mr. Lee. I thought you were out of town. Did you find what you were looking for? Martin, you're back. You get that. Thank you. And heading off again shortly, I'm afraid. Just needed a few things from my office. You must have heard about City Hall. Yes. Tragic. Peter was there. He was very lucky. And an Osborne rally. I didn't know you were a fan. Well, what matters is, you are both safe. Amen. But the bombers are still out there. Who knows what they've planned next? Oh, I don't think you or May have anything to worry about. As long as you stay away from places you're not supposed to be. Well, I should go. When will you be back? When my work is done. Wait, wait, wait! I finally got your evidence. Head to the Feast Center in Chinatown. What am I going to find? A nice lady named Mae Parker. And some really weird stuff hidden in Lee's office. But listen, he's got another attack planned. Where? When? Still working on that, but I think he's going to use something called Devil's Breath. Sounds destructive. What is it? A substance created by Oscorp. Probably a bioweapon of some kind. I have a folder full of info on it. I'm holding on to it for now. I'll send copies as soon as I can. Okay, we'll check his office. If the evidence stands up, I'll put out an APB. MJ, hey, just checking in. Peter, hey, can I call you back? I think you'll want to hear this. Wait, why are you whispering? Just in the middle of something. How about we catch up over dinner? My place? Oh, sure. I'll even cook. Cool, see ya. Wait. Remember how you told me about Lee's corrupting touch? I think I just saw it in action. How? Some perfectly nice homeless people just jumped me. Thing is, they had glowing eyes. And I remember Yuri telling me something similar about the guard who released Shocker. So Shocker was working for Lee? Uh, it's all connected. There's more. But I guess we'll talk about it at dinner. Yeah, see ya. Dinner? Huh. What should I cook? Oh, hi, Doctor. How are you? Parker! Exciting news. Come by the lab. Uh, like, now? Don't give up. This is my divining moment. Can't wait to show you. Cool. Um, I've got dinner plans. Can I come by later? Dinner can wait. You need to see this, Peter. Uh, okay. Uh, be right there. There's something heavy on. wonder if this means I have a job again. Guess I can stop by. Just for a minute. Friends, today we have a very special caller, breaking important news right here, because where else? Mayor Osborne, thanks for calling in. No, thank you, John. When you were publishing the Bugle, you were always fair to me. Tough, sure, but fair. Well, that's my job, Mr. Mayor. All I have is my integrity, and I won't compromise it for anyone. Now, what's this crucial breaking news you're revealing for the first time anywhere on my show? Well, after the brutal, cowardly City Hall bombing that almost claimed my life, it's clear 
Our understaffed police department needs help. And I want to reassure the people of New York that I am providing it. Aha! I said it! You all heard me say we needed this. Are you using my idea of bringing in cops from Lake Placid? Ah, no. Though that was a fine idea. No, this would be a security contractor, much like the ones our military uses to assist our troops overseas. I can't name it until the contracts are signed, but their qualifications are impeccable. Well, that sounds terrific, Mr. Mayor. Though, of course, I'll have to reserve my tough but fair final judgment until I have all the facts. I'd expect nothing less. And let me stress, this is in no way replacing our brave officers of the law, just augmenting them in a way that cuts through the red tape and gets results. And results are what we want. You know, I'm glad you're here. So I can share my theory on how Spider-Man may well be working with the demons. And a fascinating theory it is, I'm sure. But my doctors are advising me to get some rest now, so if you don't mind. Oh, of course. Thank you for calling in, Mr. Mayor. My lines are open for you anytime. Jared, did you hear? Tough, but fair! That's our new slogan. I don't care! Who else is using it? Don't care! Hey, Doctor. Hello, Peter. I'll be just a minute. Wow. Look at all this new stuff. Parker, we've been focused on limb replacement, connecting nerves at severed extremities, replicating the function of lost appendages. But what if instead we gave people something they've never seen? Something straight from the mind. Unchain all of us from the bodies we've been born with and instead unleash the awesome power of our minds. Messing around with superconductors. Very cool. Complex oxide ceramic. Perfect type 2 superconductor. It'll run hot, but maybe good for an outboard controller? Did you get all this equipment? Called in every last favor. Took out a few loans. It's like we're starting over once again. But this time's going to be different. You've been busy. Just getting started. You know, until now, we've been looking at prosthetics from the wrong perspective. Why restore people to what they were? when we can make them better. Okay, I think that should do it. Ready? Everything okay? Damn it! This is all your fault, Norman, you son of a... Well, I know who you're not voting for in the next election. Sorry. I uh, have a habit of making bad jokes in tense situations. <laughs> uh, it was a good joke, Parker. Just a bit of an overreaction on my part. No, don't worry. Uh, why don't you take a break? I'll, uh, I'll clean this up and uh, get us ready for another test.
So, uh, hope you don't mind me asking, but it seems you and Norman have a bit of a history. We were lab partners in college. Became friends. Decided to start a business. We both had visions of changing the world just in different ways. Wait, you were at Oscorp when it started? I'm half the reason it's called Oscorp. In grad school, everyone called us the O's. Uh, add Corp to that, and, well, it is a catchy name. Well, why'd you leave? Norman became more and more obsessed with genetics. He started a project I considered unethical. And there was this... Anyway, lawyers got involved. I chose to leave in exchange for a settlement. But that money didn't last very long. I've relied on grants ever since. If this project doesn't work... Don't worry. It'll work. Uh, let, me, let me just fix this up. I'll brew some fresh coffee. Be sure to run a diagnostic on the control unit. Could be a short. Oh, why don't you do the honors this time? I think we did it. Next step, neural interface. That's a lot of work for you to do by yourself. Sure you can handle it? Apparently not, judging by today's debacle. Because I still haven't found another job. My funds are still... I know. It's okay. Don't worry, I'll figure it out. What's a few bucks when you're trying to change the world, right? To changing the world. Missed a call from MJ. Doctor, I need to go, but I'll be back later. Don't worry, the work will still be here when you get back. What's that? Advanced idea mechanics. Doc, are you sure it's a good idea to accept grants from AIM? Their rep is pretty shady. Beggars can't be choosers, Peter. Once we're on our feet, we'll reevaluate our funding partners. Doc really does want to imagine a better version of man. Neural interface would be a big step, Doc. Big, yes, but essential. If our prosthesis is anything less than effortless to use, we'll have failed. We'll get there, Peter. We have to. This is awesome. A self-healing polymer. This stuff will survive almost anything. In some sad, sick way, the City Hall attack may have done some good. Norman's approval ratings are sinking. The people are starting to realize their beloved mayor only cares about himself. Sometimes it takes a tragedy to wake people up to the truth. To finally see the monster they themselves elected. Wish Doc wouldn't fixate on Norman like this. Hmm. Interesting method of structural reinforcement. Hey, sorry I missed your call. Are you still on for dinner? 
dinner? Oh, yeah. I was calling you about something else, but yeah, we should talk over dinner. Offer still stands for me to come over and cook. Oh, really? Well, I like to take risks. I'm still out, but I'll grab some stuff at the store and let you know when I'm home. Okay, talk soon. All right, dinner at MJ's. No expectations. It'll be hard to screw this one up. Guess I'll just freelance for a while until she calls. Look, I know you've been hacking into our crime system towers. Wasn't me. I mean, what towers? I don't mind. In fact, I need your help. I think someone's jamming the system, and they must be using multiple jammers to cover the full frequency range. Could you take a look? If you help, I promise I won't tell anyone you're hacking us. I prefer to call it sharing, but sure. The jammers emit a signal I can detect. Just need to swing through the financial district and hunt for a signal. Found a signal. Just need to follow it. Any jamming devices would only be effective atop tall buildings. Jamming devices work better at higher elevations. I bet the strongest signals would be on rooftops. Fisk's men, this is my shock face. Nap time. Gotta take out the jamming device. I didn't go through all that to leave the jammer where it is. Shoddy workmanship. I just took out a jamming device. That do anything? No, but like I said, there's probably a bunch of them. Makes sense. I'll track them down. I wonder if Fisk's men had anything to do with the system going down in the first place. Just need to get rid of the jammer. Sometimes breaking stuff is the answer. And it's fun too. Signal. It's garbled, but I picked up something about Fisk and outfit. Fisk was the kingpin of crime, but he didn't deal in knockoff fashion. The sooner the system is fixed, the sooner we know what they're planning. Only one jammer left. Now I just need to wreck the jammer. Okay, that's the last of them. The system should be back online. Spider-Man, the crime system's working again. Great. Any more info on Fisk's men or those outfits? No, but the system's reporting unauthorized activity down by the docks. I'm sending coordinates now. I'll check it out. Gotta get to the docks before they escape. Guns. Enough firepower for a small army. Whatever they're planning to do with those, it's nothing good. Gotta find out what those guns are for. Now maybe I can figure out what's going on. Guns, prison guard uniforms, and spoofed ID cards. They were planning to bust Fisk out of the raft. Sorry to spoil your prison break, guys.
Looks like New York's finest have it from here. Everything's clear on my end, too. Thanks for restoring the system, Spider-Man. I won't tell anyone you're piggybacking on it. But if you get caught, you're on your own. I have no idea what you're talking about. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to delete my selfies from the crime system servers. Hey, MJ. All right, I picked up a bunch of stuff at the store. Can't wait to see what you come up with. Swinging over now. Prepare to be amazed.